Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today I will be making eggnog ice cream, two versions. This video is part of my 12 treats of Christmas and New Year's and these two versions make my treat 7 and treat 8. I will show you how to make this ice cream two ways. Version 1 will be for those people who have and like to use an ice cream maker. Version 2 is for anyone who does not have an ice cream maker. This version is a no-churn method that does not require an ice cream maker and no special extra steps to get it to be nice and creamy. In other words, in version 2 there's very minimal work required and you will be pleasantly surprised how creamy and smooth this ice cream is. And in version 2 I will also explain how to store this ice cream so that it stays nice and creamy. So regardless of which method you make, I'm sure you will really enjoy this ice cream because as my regular viewers know, ice cream is one of my passions and what I missed most when I embraced the keto lifestyle. So my wonderful children bought me an ice cream maker with a compressor because I didn't have any room in my freezer to chill a tub. For your convenience, I will provide links to the ice cream maker that I have as well as two other ice cream makers that are highly rated that are around $60 US. And before I forget, also the link for the printable recipe will be posted in the description below. So let's get started. The ingredients for both these versions are exactly the same. What's different is the methodology, which as I said, I will explain as I go. The macronutrient ratio for the eggnog ice cream with alcohol and using the machine is 12.2 to 1 with 2.6 grams of total carbs, 0.1 gram of dietary fiber resulting in 2.5 grams of net carbs per serving. Before starting your machine version, make sure that you read and follow the instructions for your ice cream maker and make sure that your tub is pre-chilled to the appropriate level. But before you even do that, the first thing you should actually do is make a batch of my sugar-free sweetened condensed milk and after preparing it, set it aside because you'll need it for both versions. And since this is an eggnog recipe, you will also need to make or reserve a batch of my cooked eggnog recipe. For the eggnog, you can use either version, the one with the alcohol or without. That's totally up to you. The links to these two videos will also be posted in the description below. Here's how I make my machine version. In a large bowl, I first pour in the heavy whipping cream and then the eggnog, the sweetened condensed milk, and vanilla extract. And also add the freshly ground nutmeg powder and then whisk to combine. The order you add these ingredients doesn't matter. In order to make pouring easier, I'm going to transfer the eggnog ice cream custard into a measuring cup with a nice spout. Now using my machine with a compressor, I have already pre-chilled my machine. And before I pour in my prepared eggnog ice cream custard, I always start the machine churning. Then carefully pour the custard into the machine. Try to aim for the center and not on top of the blade or the sides, of course, trying not to spill all over the place. I find it much easier to use a large measuring cup to pour because the spout really helps. Then set the machine to the maximum hardness and let the machine do the rest. Because this recipe has alcohol in it, it will take a little bit longer and be a little bit softer when it first comes out, but it will be delicious. When my machine thinks the ice cream is done, it tells me with a happy little tune. I wish they had a Christmas jingle. It would be so nice and seasonally appropriate. Now take a spatula and place the churned eggnog ice cream into a freezer safe container, cover with cling wrap and a lid and then place into your freezer to set for about five to six hours or overnight. Again, you may find it a little bit longer for the ice cream to harden to the desired consistency because of the alcohol, but the alcohol will also keep it much creamier and smoother. I actually left my ice cream in the freezer overnight and then took the container out of the freezer and took off the lid and let it thaw for about 10 minutes at room temperature. At my room temperature, which was 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I like this eggnog ice cream to be just a little bit harder than my regular custard based ice creams. Now it's time to scoop the ice cream into a bowl. I find that letting my ice cream thaw just a little bit made it much easier and smoother to scoop out the ice cream. By the way, this scooper is a one tablespoon size ice cream scoop. When I was making my gingerbread cookies, I reserved a few on the side so that I could serve them with my ice cream. If you love gingerbread, I have two different gingerbread cookie recipes. One is for my gingerbread people and the other one is for my gingerbread crinkle cookies. 
Either of these would work well. And the link for these two videos will be posted in the description below. Although this is not an actual haagen eggnog ice cream, since I don't really think they have one, I did base this recipe on my haagen vanilla bean copycat recipe. And if you want some more flavors of ice cream, I will post an end link with the entire playlist of all the ice creams I have to date. Please let me know which flavor you like, or if I haven't posted your favorite flavor yet, please let me know because I will be making many more ice cream recipes this coming year. So here's my finished eggnog ice cream. And as you can see, I've added two of my gingerbread children on top. And this is the wonderful ice cream machine version of this keto eggnog ice cream. And now let's begin version two, the no machine method. The macronutrients for this recipe are exactly the same. So let's begin this no churn version. The very first thing you have to do of course, after making the sweetened condensed milk and having the eggnog on hand, is into a large mixing bowl or your stand mixer bowl, which by the way, you use a whisk attachment. Add your heavy whipping cream, nutmeg powder, vanilla, and whip to medium stiffness stage. The medium stiffness stage is when the peaks form but flop ever so slightly at the tip. Enter the whipped cream, add the sweetened condensed milk, eggnog and then whisk everything together to combine. You can stop here or if you want to add a little bit of alcohol as a change of pace I'm going to add my peppermint schnapps. The peppermint schnapps gives it a wonderful minty taste while still providing a mild alcoholic taste. But again this is an option. After adding the alcohol just whisk to combine. Transfer this eggnog ice cream mixture into an airtight container and freeze until firm. I found that this no churn ice cream required more than five hours and I left it overnight until the next evening. One of the really pleasant surprises I had with this ice cream is that even after 24 full hours of being in the freezer, when I scooped it, it just glided. I just removed this from the freezer. I did not have it thaw on the counter and it's smooth and creamy and easy to scoop. And when I thought about it, one of the reasons is I didn't have it right at the top near the coldest part of the freezer. I had it down in the lower drawers and I think maybe that made the difference. Putting it in the drawer where it wasn't at its absolutely coldest, I think made all the difference. Okay, so now that my no churn ice cream is completed and I'm scooping it out. And as you can see, it's perfectly ready to serve right out of the freezer. And because this is your creation, you can decorate it or garnish it any way you like. I had one more gingerbread person that I wanted to use. So I'm using that and a couple cinnamon sticks. But if you don't want to use gingerbread people, you could take the other crinkle cookie and break it up into little pieces and sprinkle it on top with a little dash of either nutmeg or cinnamon. Or you could keep it simple by just sprinkling a little bit of nutmeg or cinnamon on top. Whichever way you wish to garnish your ice cream, enjoy. Happy holidays to everyone and may next year bring you good health and much happiness. Thank you very much for taking the time to be so supportive and watch my videos. And I'd like to give a massive thank you to all the kind people who have so generously donated to my Ko-fi link and help support this channel. And if you like my videos and would like to help my channel grow, please share the channel link or this video link with someone that you think might enjoy my recipes. Word of mouth and having new subscribers directed to my channel by you is the greatest gift you could give me. Thank you.